Welcome to the second in our series, Poetry and Prayer Morning Prayer Services. This is Pastor Allison from Second Presbyterian Church in Portsmouth, Ohio. Uh, and as I was posting yesterday's service, I was so proud of myself for thinking of the title Poetry and Prayer because there's such great alliteration. And then later on, I realized there's also a piano solo. So probably I should call this Poetry, Prayer, and Piano Morning Prayer. So I'll change the title going forward. It's Tuesday, March 24th, and it's Ladies' Day on this morning prayer episode. Um, and we will be featuring a prayer by Therese of Liseau, who lived in the late 1800s, and then also a poem by Emily Bronte, who was um, lived in the early 1800s. So we'll do the poem first and the prayer second, and then we'll listen to the piano solo at the end. So hear this poem from Emily Bronte. No coward soul is mine, no trembler in the world's storm-tossed sphere. I see heaven's glory shine, and faith shines equal, arming me from fear. O God within my breast, almighty and ever-present deity, life that in me has rest as I undying life have power in thee vain are the thousand creeds that move men's hearts unutterably vain worthless as withered weeds or idlest froth amid the boundless main to waken doubt in one holding so fast by then thine infinity so surely anchored on the steadfast rock of immortality with wide embracing love, thy spirit animates eternal years, pervades and broods above, changes, sustains, dissolves, creates, and rears. Though earth and man were gone, and suns and universes ceased to be, and thou were left alone, every existence would exist in thee. There is not room for death, nor atom that his might could render void. Thou, thou art being and breath, and what thou art may never be destroyed. As I was thinking about life these days in this space that we are in, living in kind of the fear of the COVID-19 crisis and watching the news from around the world and watching people whom we know and love start to become infected. Um, I really love that first line. I think that was probably what caught my attention in this poem. She writes, no coward soul is mine. And then she keeps going, no trembler in the world's storm tossed sphere. I see heaven's glory shine and faith shines equal, arming me from fear. That's a message I think particularly we need to be hearing these days. And it was one I shared in my sermon on Sunday morning, um, talking about Psalm 23 and the fact that at the very heart of that Psalm, actually in the Hebrew, 26 words before it, and there are 26 words after it, the very center of that psalm is the phrase, thou art with me. And there's such reassurance in remembering that God is with us. And so there is no need to fear. So we, we too, with Emily Bronte, can say, no coward soul is mine. No trembler in the world's storm-tossed sphere. The prayer again today comes from Therese of Liso, who wrote in the late 1800s. Um, it's not a very long prayer, but it uses a great image. And again, it echoes that same theme of having a heart of faith instead of fear. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, I am not an eagle. All I have are the eyes and the heart of one. In spite of my littleness, I dare to gaze at the sun of love, 
and long to fly toward it. I want to imitate the eagles, but all I can do is flap my small wings. What shall I do? With cheerful confidence, I shall stay gazing at the sun till I die. Nothing will frighten me, neither wind nor rain. O oh, my beloved son, I delight in feeling small and helpless in your presence, and my heart is at peace. Amen.